Hello everyone. In this lecture, we are going to solve this given system of equation to find the value of x. We are only looking positive real number solution for x and y. Our first equation is x raised to the power y equal to y raised to the power x minus y. Our second equation is x raised to the power x equal to y raised to the power 12 y. So this is our system of equations. I am going to take log base 10 on both sides. So first equation y log x equal to x minus y log y because we know the power property of the logarithm log m raised to the power n is equal to n log m so this power is coming in the front similarly in this case this power is coming in the front so second equation x log x equal to 12 y log y mark this equation equation number one and this equation equation number two so from equation one log x is equal to x minus y over y into log y mark this equation equation number three so put this value of log x in equation number two so x replacing log x with this lot so x times x minus y over y into log y equal to 12 y log y so this implies that take this right hand side to left hand side so this is x into x minus y over y into log y minus 12 y log y is equal to 0 so in the next step take log y common from the left hand side so this is log y inside x into x minus y over y minus 12 y is equal to 0 so the product of two factors is equal to 0 so either log y is equal to 0 or x into x minus y over y minus 12 y is equal to 0 so if log y equal to 0 log y equal to 0 then from equation number 3 when log y equal to 0 so this whole lot is equal to 0 this means log x equal to 0 so when log y equal to 0 that means y is equal to 10 raised to the power 0 and x equal to 10 raised to the power 0 this implies that x is equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 
So we got one solution x equal to one, y equal to one. So this is the first solution. If this is equal to zero, so x into x minus y over y minus 12 y equal to 0. This implies that open this bracket and take the y as the LCM at the same time. So take the y as the LCM. So open this bracket. So this is x square minus xy minus 12 y square is equal to 0. So this implies that x square minus xy minus 12 y square is equal to 0 because cross multiplication is valid. So divide this equation with y square. So this is x square over y square minus xy over y square minus 12 y square over y square is equal to 0. So this implies that x square over y square minus x over y minus 12 equal to 0. This is our quadratic equation in x square over y square. So this can be solved by factorization. So this implies that x square over y square minus 4x over y plus 3x over y minus 12 is equal to 0. So take the x over y as common from the first two terms. So x over y common inside x over y minus 4 take the plus 3 common from the next two term plus 3 inside x over y minus 4 equal to 0 so this is x over y minus 4 times x over y plus 3 equal to 0 the product of two factors equal to 0. So there are two cases either x over y minus 4 equal to 0 or x over y plus 3 equal to 0. So when x over y minus 4 equal to 0, x over y minus 4 equal to 0 that means x over y equal to 4 or x over y plus 3 equal to 0 that means x over y equal to minus 3 so discard this case because we are only looking positive real number solution so we are not going to consider this case so x over y equal to 4 this implies that x equal to 4y so put this value of x equal to 4y in equation number 3 replacing x with 4y so log 4y equal to 4y minus y over y into log y so log of 4y is equal to 4y minus y equal to 3y over y into log of y. This y cancel with this y. So log of 4y is equal to 3 log y. So log 4y is equal to log y raised to the power 3 cancelling log on both sides so this is 4y equal to y q 
cube this implies that y square equal to 4 this implies that y is equal to plus minus 2 taking the square root on both sides so we got two values of y y is equal to 2 and y is equal to minus 2 leave this case because we are only looking positive solution so y is equal to 2 so put this value of y equal to 2 in this equation so x is equal to 4 times 2 so x is equal to 8 so we got another two values x equal to 8 y is equal to 2 so we got another solution x equal to 8 and y equal to 2 so we got two values of x x equal to 1 x equal to 8 and two values of y y equal to 1 y equal to 2 so this is my final answer i hope you like this video thanks for watching